Welcome back to a brand new video guys and I hope you're having a great day. I just want to start this video by saying thank you for everyone who's been watching my videos recently. The support that I'm getting on the channel at the moment is absolutely brilliant and I really do enjoy making these videos. So I will continue to be uploading twice a week. It'll be on Wednesday and also a Sunday. So I'm making two lots of content. I'm making the car content and I'm also making the Amazon FBA and making money online content. So I really do hope you're enjoying the videos guys. Please keep up with the support, it really does mean a lot to me. And yeah, we'll get straight back into the video. In today's video, I'm gonna run through my Amazon FBA profits from March 2023. Just to show you guys what my top three performing products are, my worst three performing products. I basically just give you the ins and outs of how I felt the month went and also what I'm planning on doing next for my Amazon FBA account. So without further ado guys, let's just get straight into the numbers. So on screen now, I'm using Seller Toolkit, which is basically like an Amazon add-on that you can pay separately. It's about £35 or £40 a month. I'll leave a link in the description for it, but essentially you can see exactly what is going on in your Amazon business. And also it's got a little add-on called the Repricer which is absolutely crucial if you want to make your Amazon FBA business grow. And again, that's about £35 a month. So all in all, it costs around about £65 to £70 a month for this software. But honestly, you really do need this bit of kit. It's something that you can't really go without. Anyway, onto the numbers. You can see that I've had a much better month than last month. I've made £408 in profit. I've made £2,597 in sales, I've sold 243 units and I've also got a 30% ROI which is on the top end of the ROI that I want to achieve. So from a £5,000 investment on a 30% ROI, you're looking to make £1,500 profit per month which is absolutely insane because you're looking at about eighteen grand for the year just from about 10 hours per week of sourcing products, labelling products and getting them sent into Amazon. There's no more faff than that. It is honestly a brilliant side hustle. So like my previous videos, I'm gonna go into my top three performing products and my worst three performing products. So let's begin with my top three performing products during this period. And two out of those three products are actually Amazon to Amazon. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, it's where you buy products that are heavily discounted on Amazon and then send them straight back to Amazon to sell at the normal price. So if you wanna take, for example, a certain product, let's say a kettle, it normally sells for around £40, but a certain seller on that listing just wants to get rid of the stock, so they list it for £20. You then buy it at £20, and then relist it back at the normal price of £40, which it normally sells for. So effectively, you're just taking advantage of these heavy price deductions. Now, you won't find any Amazon to Amazon sourcing very easily. It's very, very hard to come by, and this is exactly why you need to join a group like the Hustle Club, which will give you a notification when a price has been heavily discounted. And trust me, there is money to be made, especially if you get an Amazon business account and there's no limit on what quantity you can order. If you're like me and you've got a small account, you will get limited on how many you can order. For example, on the screen now, you can see the Morphe Richards Vector Pyramid Kettle. I can only buy three units because that's the maximum quantity I could order after one account. You can obviously make multiple accounts, but it is very difficult and a bit of a faff to try and make loads of accounts and enter all your details, etc. So I just do it off the one account. I ordered the three and from those three units, I made 40 pounds profit, which is absolutely ridiculous. The ROI on it was 263%. So there is money to be made with these Amazon to Amazon products. Now I must reiterate, you will not find these products all the time. They aren't really easy to find and that's why you need to be in a group that will give you notifications when these products come about. Anyway, that was a fantastic product and it sold pretty much instantly. The next product was a Bye Bye Panda Eyes Essence smudge proof mascara type thing and essentially I've been buying that from abroad, all brand new etc, all sealed and it has been selling very well and I think what has happened is that I've managed to time it very well in the way that the stock on the Amazon listing was quite low in terms of competitiveness and so once my stock got sent in, I could then manipulate the price to be a lot higher than it normally is. And so I made a very, very good ROI of 156% on all of those sold. That was a fantastic little buy for me and definitely something I'm probably gonna reorder in the future. But yeah, so the third product that we sold was another Amazon to Amazon product. It was some dog treat things and essentially it's exactly the same as the kettles. So a seller on the listing heavily reduced the product 
I then bought four, which was the maximum I could buy, and then just sent them straight back into Amazon and listed them at the normal price that you sell at. These sold pretty much instantly as well, and made me £27 profit and a 110% ROI, which is fantastic. So yeah, anyways, they are my top three performing products. Like I say, Amazon to Amazon, fantastic if you can get the right sourcing for it. So Amazon FBA, like any other business, it's never gonna be rosy and dandy all the time. You are gonna have products that aren't gonna sell as well as you think they are, or you're gonna take a little bit of a loss on that certain product, or you're just not gonna achieve the ROI that you wanted to. Now in my bottom three performing products, the first one being the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. This is because a competitor came onto the listing and absolutely tanked the ROIs and so basically I couldn't make much profit on it at all. I made a 5% ROI and I made that decision because they had a lot of stock that they sent in. So I just needed to get my 40 quid or whatever out of that product and then just put that 40 quid into other products that I know are selling better. So that's exactly what I did. So the next product was the Esper Detoxifying Salt Scrub. That didn't do very well. I thought it was a very good ROI at the time, but on the 90 day average, it was at its highest when I sourced the product. And so obviously it had room to come back down and I didn't account for that really. And so again, I've had to set it almost at break even, just a little bit above break even. So I made £1.74 profit off those two units, which is not obviously not great, but at the end of the day, I haven't lost money actually. So it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, my final product, and this is something that I've, I've mentioned in a previous video, is I'm gonna try and stay away from these Funko Pops. Again, many people can make money with these, and fair play to you if you can, but personally, I've never made any money on them because I just feel like they're just too competitive, as in there's so many people buying them at bulk. It just means that my cost price is always gonna be a little bit higher than the next man, so my profit margins are just absolutely shite. So in this case, I've actually lost 17 pounds in terms of the whole eight units, which obviously in the grand scheme of things is really irritating. It's actually a negative 40% ROI. But overall, I only spent about 60 pounds on these, so it's not a massive loss to concede. And again, it's something that I'm learning from and something that I'm gonna try and avoid in the future so I can obviously concentrate on more profitable items. So guys, I'm gonna leave the video there. If you are interested in starting Amazon FBA, go check out all the links in the description down below. It's got the link to the Hustle Club, to Seller Toolkit, to Seller Amp. It's got everything that you need to start your Amazon FBA business. But if you did enjoy the video, please smash the like button, comment down below any questions, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.